President Joe Biden is just hours away from addressing the nation from the Oval Office. He's expected to talk about why he dropped out of the presidential race. Well, since Sunday, Vice President Kamala Harris quickly ascended to the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee with just more than 100 days to go before the election. ABC's Christian Cordero has the latest from the White House. After more than five days isolating with COVID at his Delaware Beach home, today, President Joe Biden is back in the nation's capital. Mr. President, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Sir? How are you feeling? Set to deliver a speech unlike that of any president in more than 50 years, explaining why he's dropping out of the presidential race. Biden's team says he then plans to aggressively campaign with Vice President Kamala Harris. The first poll since Biden withdrew shows Harris has a slight lead over former President Trump, but Trump has been leading in the handful of battleground states that are crucial to win this election. That's where Harris's running mate could factor in. Sources tell ABC News vetting has already begun with at least four names on the list. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, Andy Bashir, the youngest governor of Deep Red, Kentucky, and North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper. Harris visits Indianapolis today after her first rally in Wisconsin as the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee. We who believe in reproductive freedom <laughs> will stop Donald Trump's extreme abortion bans because... We trust women to make decisions about their own body and not have their government tell them what to do. And today, Trump is back on the campaign trail for the first time since Biden dropped out of the race. Sources tell ABC News the Secret Service has recommended the former president stop holding rallies outdoors following the July 13th assassination attempt. Today's event is inside. It comes hours after Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle's resignation over the agency's handling of that Pennsylvania rally. President Biden's speech tonight is expected to explain at least two things, why he decided to drop out of the race and what he hopes to focus on in his last six months as president. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, The White House.